Leave entrance open. Voice authorization required. This is Robin. Robin, partner to the Batman. Voice authorization accepted. Please enter. One of Batman's most devious enemies has always been the Riddler. As Batman's partner, I'm studying the Dark Knight's first encounter with the mysterious Prince of Puzzles. Computer, call up the file on the Riddler. The Riddler, also known as Edward Nigma. Current whereabouts, unknown. Mode of operations, sends riddles that are clues to his criminal activities. Obsessed with creating riddles the Batman cannot solve. The Riddler has always been one of Batman's smartest enemies. He's got a thing for puzzles and leaves clues to his capers in the form of riddles. The Riddler was bad even as a kid. He cheated in school. He cheated his friends. He liked to fool people with puzzles. Hey, Billy. How do you keep an idiot waiting? Um, I don't know. I'll tell you later. <laughs> but only to make other people look like fools. Later on, he went from insult to injury and started robbing people at gunpoint. Let's see. His first crime was years ago, back when Bruce Wayne had just become the Batman. It all started at a police station in Gotham City. When Commissioner Gordon discovered a page full of riddles on his desk. What are these? Riddles? What do you call twins both named William? Where do cows go on a date? What's the laziest mountain in the world? Huh, crazy. Those riddles were clues to the Riddler's next caper. That night, the Riddler got away with his first crime. Pointing a 357 Magnum revolver through the ticket window, he robbed the ticket taker at a movie theater over on 3rd Street. Come on, come on, hurry up! You got all my money, you nut! Not you, you buffoon. The police! They didn't even try to solve my riddles. What do you call twins both named William? Double Bill! Where do cows go on a date? The movies! What's the laziest mountain in the world? Everest! And here I am at the Everest movie theater's double feature. Get it? Um... Yeah, well, neither did the police. Next time, I'll just have to try harder to get their attention. And he did. Before he pulled off his next job, the Riddler prepared a very special package. One morning, Commissioner Gordon found the package in his office. What's that ticking? It sounds like a... Bomb! Everybody get down! But the Riddler wasn't trying to kill Commissioner Gordon, just to scare him a little. The joke bomb was full of paper, and on each piece of paper, there was a riddle. Watch this. Riddles? Why did the cottage go on a diet? When's the best time to go to the dentist? What day do soldiers hate the most? Signed, The Riddler. This time, the police took notice. So did Gotham's Dark Knight. In the secret Batcave under Wayne Manor, Bruce Wayne worked on the riddles while his trusted butler, Alfred, looked on. What's this on the computer screen, sir? Riddles? A new hobby, then? <laughs> Next thing one knows, you'll be knitting. Quiet, Alfred. Why did the cottage go on a diet? Hmm, to become a lighthouse. When's the best time to go to the dentist? That's easy, 2.30. What day do soldiers hate the most? Interesting, what do soldiers do? Hmm, if you ask me, this Riddler fellow is mad as a March hare. Alfred, that's it. Soldiers march, March 4th, that's today. And it's almost 2.30 now. I've got to go. Leaping into the Batmobile, Batman raced toward the Lighthouse Club in downtown Gotham City. He arrived just in time to see the Riddler standing on the roof, throwing sticks of dynamite onto a squad of police cars on the street below. The police had also solved the riddles, and the Riddler was making them pay for it. How do you like that, coppers? <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? What? What are you dressed up to be? A question mark? A quiz master? Well, that's a stupid question coming from a guy wearing pointy ears. But if you must know, I'm the Riddler. Sorry, I'm not taking questions. Oof! A karate blow from Batman sent the Riddler sprawling. But as the Dark Knight closed in to finish the fight, the Riddler lit another stick of dynamite. Riddle me this, Batman. If a plane crashes on the border between the United States and Mexico, 
Where do you bury the survivors? You don't bury the survivors. But they will bury you, if they can find all the pieces. Catch! As the dynamite exploded, Batman leaped off the roof, falling through the air. As he fell to the ground, Batman tossed a batarang with a rope attached that snagged onto a nearby flagpole and swung to safety, his black cape swirling behind him. <laughs> so long, bat freak. The Riddler got away. Sneaking back to his hideout, the quiz-making criminal swore that he'd get his revenge on the Dark Knight. Batman. I hate Batman. Solve my riddles, will he? I'll show him I'm not going to play second fiddle to those wannabes like Two-Face or the others. I'll show him I'm the biggest riddle this town has to solve. The next evening, Bruce Wayne was at Wayne Manor, having a quiet dinner, when the bat signal suddenly appeared high overhead. I believe there's a message for you, sir. Really? A telephone message, or...? Not down here, sir. Up there. Looking up, Batman saw the enormous bat signal shining against the cloudy skyline of Gotham. The Dark Knight was needed. Time to go. In moments, he had changed from billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne to Batman. The Batmobile's engines roared, and flames spouted from its jet engine as it raced out the hidden entrance and sped toward Gotham City. Meanwhile, Batman contacted Commissioner Gordon on his car radio. Go ahead, Commissioner. We've heard from the Riddler again, Batman. This time, the clues are scribbled over an old crossword puzzle. Hurriedly, Commissioner Gordon gave Batman the clues. Something that holds water. How many letters on the crossword puzzle? Five. Next clue, a black tie dinner. Then, a six-letter word for a public thoroughfare. That's enough. I know where the Riddler's headed, Commissioner. You do? But how did you solve it so... No time to talk. Meet me at the Basin Street Charity Banquet right away. Luckily, Batman uses his brains even more than his brawn. Basin is a five-letter word, and basins hold water. Street has six letters in it, and a black tie dinner is a banquet. There was a charity dinner going on at Basin Street that night, and it looked like the Riddler was planning to rob the place. At Batman's request, the police surrounded the building, waiting patiently for the Riddler to strike. But this time, the Riddler had fooled even Batman. While the police guarded the charity banquet, across town at the Reservoir Avenue Cash Depository, the Riddler was planning his real crime, with the help of two hired thugs. Ha-ha! The Bat Brain thinks I'm going to hit the Basin Street Charity Banquet. I don't get it, Riddler. I thought you wanted to give Batman a fair chance to solve your riddles. Oh, but I did. The riddles do work. They just don't work on the crossword puzzle. The clues actually match this place. What holds water? A reservoir. A six-letter word for a public thoroughfare. Avenue. Reservoir Avenue Cash Depository. And Batman will never even know I was here. <laughs> While the Riddler quietly ransacked the bank vault, Batman and Commissioner Gordon waited as the charity banquet came to an end. I don't understand it, Batman. All the clues matched. I was sure the Riddler would hit the banquet. The banquet. Hmm. Banquet. Bank wet. As in a bank near the water. That's it. Leaping into the Batmobile, Batman raced toward the Reservoir Avenue Cash Depository. Just as he arrived, the Riddler and his two thugs reached the nearby Gotham River. Come on, into the boat! With Batman right behind them. As the Riddler launched his speedboat, Batman leaped. Oh, oh, got it! And managed to grab the boat's handrails. The Dark Knight clung to the boat, bashed and battered against its side as the Riddler picked up speed, swerving left and right, trying to throw Batman into the river. Oh, oh, got to <laughs> hang on. Enjoying the ride, Bat Brain? Boys, how many bats does it take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, I don't know, Riddler. It doesn't matter. Bats are blind. <laughs> Had your laughs. While the Riddler gloated, Batman had used all his strength to climb onto the deck of the speedboat. As he stalked toward the Riddler, the two thugs blocked his path. We're in trouble now, Batman. My muscle-bound minions are more than a match for your martial arts. Oh, ooh. Or not. Eek. All right, Riddler. 
end of the line. Funny. That's what I was going to say. What? Just then, the racing speedboat reached a small waterfall and sped off the edge, launched into midair. The Riddler grabbed hold of the steering wheel, but Batman, unable to get a handhold, flew out of the boat and landed in the river with a splash. As the boat raced away, Batman could hear the Riddler's malicious laughter. So long, Bat-brain! <laughs> Laugh while you can, Riddler. You won't get away next time. Batman didn't have long to wait. A few days later, Commissioner Gordon received an old record in the mail. As he played it for Batman, they heard the Riddler's voice. Riddle me this, Batman. How do you calculate the number of people in an opera house? Why did the composer stop watching the ball game? What musical instrument doesn't tell the truth? How do you calculate the number of people in an opera house? Hmm, a stupid pun. You need to know the aria. Why did the composer stop watching the ball game? He already knew the score. The Riddler must be getting overconfident. The final riddle is a musical instrument that doesn't tell the truth. That's got to be that old-fashioned instrument called a lyre. But there aren't any lyres in Gotham. Hmm. There may be another answer. And I think I'll find it at the Gotham Opera. At that moment, a concert was taking place at a nearby opera house. There, a famous violinist was performing on a rare violin called a Stradivarius, a priceless treasure. Suddenly, an explosion blew a hole in the wall of the theater. The audience screamed as through the smoke walked the Riddler, followed by a gang of hired thieves. All right, everybody. Hands up. You there. Hand over that fiddle. The Riddler was just about to get away with the million-dollar violin when a voice echoed from the rafters above the stage. I've got a question for you, Riddler. What's the hardest part of a riddle? The hardest part of a riddle? Hmm. The punchline. Get him, boys! The Riddler's gang swarmed over Batman. He was outnumbered ten to one. Pulling out a batarang, the Dark Knight tried to even the odds. But the others kept on coming. One of them tried to smash Batman with a chair, but the Dark Knight ducked, and the chair hit another thug instead. Then Batman really went into action. A jumping, spinning back kick dropped another attacker to the floor. Batman backflipped over one thug's head, then sent him flying into the orchestra pit with a front kick. The Dark Knight moved like a martial arts demon, and before long, all the Riddler's thugs were unconscious. Only the Riddler himself remained standing. When Commissioner Gordon and the police arrived to take him away, the Riddler was half unconscious and mumbling in his sleep. All right, boys, get him out of here. We got a nice prison cell ready and waiting. When is a bat not a bat? <laughs> what kind of a bat can be made into a house? <laughs> what kind of a stick does the Riddler hate? <laughs> nice work, Batman. Looks like this is one criminal that won't be bothering us for a while. I'm not sure, Commissioner. I have a feeling that someday, we're going to hear from the Riddler again.